Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to give you a few tips when it comes to the full lace wig. I had an idea of what I wanted today's video to be. However, it didn't go exactly the way I planned. So instead, I thought why not give you all some tips when purchasing a full lace wig. Um, what to look for if you are wanting to do a high ponytail or if you are wanting to get your wigs to look very natural because most of the time we want full lace wigs because we want the options for the wig to be pulled up or we want our wigs to lay a certain way and look very realistic. This wig today, um, I chose to create a style that was more realistic, um, something that you would actually wear if you was wearing your natural hair. That was the goal once I got to styling the wig, once I checked out the density and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna get into all the details, all that good stuff as we go throughout the video. So make sure you keep on watching. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel, welcome. Everything in today's video will also be linked below today's video along with the discount for today's wig. All right, so the wig will be linked below in the description box and I will also put a discount code down there for you all. So today's wig we're working with is a full lace wig. So this is what the cap construction look like for a glueless full lace wig. You usually have an adjustable band here. This way you can wear the wig glueless. However, I had mine removed so that I could, if I wanted to glue down the back. Now, a glueless full lace wig always comes with the combs and adjustable straps, and a stretch center is to help so that the wig fits properly on your head. The hairline on this wig is, of course, the new hairline. Whenever you wanna wear your wig into a high ponytail, with the back of the full lace wig, you need to tweeze it a bit. I've already tweezed it just a little bit. And you also wanna make sure you use that hot comb or hair mousse to flatten down the hair as much as possible. And of course, bleach the knots. Now the knots usually in the back are the hardest to bleach. So I like to take some lace tint and that normally helps to cover up those knots. When it comes to removing the lace on a full lace wig, of course, it's the same steps you would take with any wig. You want to make sure to remove all of the lace in the back. However, when it comes to the full lace, if you plan on gluing it down, I highly recommend just leaving a little bit of lace in the back of the wig so that you can have some to it here. If there's too much hair in the back of the wig, it's going to be hard to get it to glue down. So it's the same way as the front. So keep that in mind. Now with this full lace wig, um, as you can see me putting it on my head, without the adjustable straps in the back of it, it's hard to lay that lace. So what I did is I put the inserts, the adjustable inserts back inside the wig so it can lay flat because I know that if I was to glue it down, I need this wig to lay flat. But as you can see, just putting it on, it needs a little bit of something so it can look more realistic. This is where you need to take your time and actually find what works for you. Now, I've said this before, before you jump into gluing your wig down, make sure that you have your technique down packed and ready to go. And you can do this by practicing how to get your wig to look realistic before you start adding glue into the mix, especially if you are a beginner. So today's wig, I am not gluing down. I want to show you that you need to master your technique before you jump into the glue. If you watch any of my tutorials, you know that I have so many tips on how to make your wig look realistic from the fake scalp method to tweezing the hairline to why I like the new hairlines compared to the pre-plugged hairlines. I will put some videos down below in the description box for you. Make sure to check out my tutorials. I get so many questions about wigs when I have so many answers on my channel. All you have to do is watch the videos and you will get every answer that you're looking for there. If you would like to send thanks to me, there's a thank you button below this video where you can send in your donations to the channel. It helps me to continue to bring content and your support definitely helps. So liking the video, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for everyone who does continue to show your support. What I'm going to do is continue to play with this wig and style it until I get it to my liking and I, what I feel like works. Today's style, like I said, I wanted to keep it very realistic. I want this wig to look like if I was just styling my natural hair. So yes, I'm adding some edges, but the density of this wig is very 
lightweight. I requested less than 150%. If you like your hair big, do not do that because you're going to be disappointed. But I feel like if you're wanting to wear your wig in a high bun or if you want the most realistic style, then of course the, the densities that are not so thick will give you that effect. So I'm just gonna continue to style this way. You guys can watch and I'll be back in a second. So as you can see, the back looks really good. The density is very natural. So all you have to do is just master your technique before you jump into gluing down your wig. And of course the full lace wig to me is for those who have mastered that technique. Um, because when, once you add glue, I'm telling you, you need to know how to get that wig to look natural. So be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe. And I hope this video was very helpful and I will see you all back in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah.